Renaissance. In our morning rounds, a new understanding of the connection between your head and your heart. For the first time, a study shows how signs of stress in a, in a specific part of the brain could predict future heart trouble. CBS News medical contributor, that's Dr. Tara Narula, is a cardiologist at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City and joins us at the table. So once again, it shows your body's all connected. We all know that stress is contained, affects your heart. So what is different about this study that doctors didn't know before that's tied to the brain? We know that stress affects the cardiovascular system, yes. but how? What's the mechanism? And that's really what this study did. It's the first imaging study that shows us a particular area of the brain, the amygdala, and a pathway that connects it to arterial inflammation, which is the beginnings of atherosclerosis or plaque. So researchers in this study looked at 300 individuals. They did PET CT scans on them, and then they followed them for the development of cardiovascular events. When the, what they found with the imaging is that in the brain, mm -hmm. the level of activity of the amygdala was strongly predictive of those future cardiovascular events. In addition, those level of the amygdala, if it was highly active, it predicted that you would have a cardiovascular event sooner. Mm -hmm. So the timing was related. Mm -hmm. And then the most interesting thing to me is really the pathway that was elucidated. And what they found is that not only was the amygdala lit up, but also the bone marrow lit up. And that means that the bone marrow was producing these white blood cells, these inflammatory cells. In addition, the arterial walls lit up. And that's really what they hypothesized as the pathway. Amygdala leads to increase of white blood cells, leads to inflammation, which affects the arterial wall. Where is the amygdala? I'm trying to think, should we be protecting that? Where, where is it? Yeah. We should. So yes, a, yeah, where is it? This is a yeah. very deep, primitive uh, part of the brain. There are two of them, one on the right, one on the left, mm -hmm. almond-shaped. Uh, and based Basically, they are like the warning center of the brain. Mm -hmm. So the, it's there to kind of detect threat, to detect danger. And then it elicits a response to that, a stress response. Mm -hmm. It's also the seat of emotional memory. Uh, so things that are emotionally important to you, you'll form memories in that area. In addition, emotional reactions. So things like fear, aggression, arousal, all housed in the amygdala. So, how so you can be happy that you have a good brain. Yes, yes, I can. <laughs> So, so what can we do with. about this? Right, that's yeah. really what people want to yeah. know. Yes. So we obviously need a lot more research on this, particularly in humans. We have a, a lot more animal research, but certainly meditation, uh, visualization, mindfulness has been shown to actually shrink and change the amygdala size. Uh, they did a study at Harvard a couple years ago. In addition, psychotherapy. The hope is that by elucidating these pathways, as I mentioned, we might be able to develop novel therapeutics, drugs, vaccines in the future. And then in animal studies, neurobiologists have shown that finding outlets for your frustration, finding uh, social connectedness, uh, that helps. Uh, so there are techniques that people can use. Gail, so, so connect you... is connectiveness, having good friends. Yes, good friends. a good I, social I, I, network. How do you deal with stress, Gail? How do you deal with stress? Because I don't think you're ever stressed out. Not that I'm aware of. I certainly must be. Yeah. You don't feel stress either, do you? I, I really don't. I wish I had a great story to tell. But again, tell. you're right. You don't know. Maybe you don't, I, yeah, maybe I do and I don't know it. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's good that you don't feel. I mean, most mm -hmm. of the people I talk to in my office when I ask them, and I always ask about stress because mm -hmm. it is a cardiovascular risk factor. They'll say, yes, I'm medium yeah. or high level. Yeah. So for yeah. most yeah. Americans, mm -hmm. it's a big deal. Right. Thank but you. There is something Thank you, you can do about it. There That's is. the bottom line yeah. here, too. Thank you, Dr. Karen Arilla. Good to see you.